Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah title of this video, some thoughts after my first training session at Tiger Muay Thai. Wowee. I finished probably about half an hour ago. I have not stopped sweating. I was, <laughs> guys, okay, one word, one word. If someone came up to me, shoved a microphone in my face, had a camera on me and said, look, one word to describe that, that session. Humbled, okay, humbled. I can play rugby, I can play soccer, I can play hockey, I can even play basketball. But martial arts is something completely different. It's, enti it's an entirely, you know, different beast. And today was my first session. Wow. I was absolutely fucked. Um, we had <clears throat> a couple of rounds of sparring, which I actually said no to because it was my first day. I did everything else but that. It was probably about a 10 minute section. Whew. So today, all up. Um, I'm not sure why I've got glasses on inside, but bear with me. Um, yoga, weights, Muay Thai. And now it's time to have a shower and go get something to eat, because I'm absolutely fucked. Uh, you know, humbled, Happy, excited, I was absolutely, I was a nervous wreck before it, I'm not going to lie. Um, and it was my first time, guys. I got, I got partnered up with this, up with this guy who was my height, my size. And I'll tell you another thing, muscle mass doesn't mean shit. It don't mean shit. And if you've got fat on your body, it is just going to slow you down. So one thing I want to achieve from this trip is to slim down. Honestly, it's to drop my body fat go from 95, 96 kilos down to about 90 or even under and you know just be lean, be, um, be a lean machine as they say. So let me, uh, let me just um, try and uh, rattle off what, what we actually did. It was about a 20 minute warm up, um, stretching, running, all sorts of different cardio things. Then we did some technique for probably about 20, 20 or 30 minutes just one, two, three, four, five, six, then knees, kicks, elbows, spinning elbows, things I've never done before. And look, I, I will say one thing after that. I'm thinking things like elbows, things like knees, I don't know if they're my cup of tea, to be fair. Punching, kicking. I mean, if I was going to spar someone, if I was going to actually jump in the ring and have a fight, to have elbows and knees coming at me, I don't know if I'd be keen on that. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, we did the technique, then we went into pairs and did some, some work, um, like I was talking about before. I got humbled, you know, all we did was watch, like the, uh, the instructors would show us what to do, we'd jump, jump in up here and, and go back and forth and do it. But the instructors only showed us for like 30 seconds. So <laughs> sometimes they'd, they'd finish showing us what we have to do and I'd be like, Bro, I need you to show me again. And, you know, I didn't want to tell anyone that, so I just went into it, tried my best. I tried my best, look. I tried my best. I probably apologized too much. And you know what? One thing I'm not going to do anymore is apologize. Because I felt like a real pussy doing that. I'm just going to be confident. This is all about fucking building confidence, man. This is about, it's about getting myself back out there. I probably talked to about three or four different people, very briefly. Um, you know, which is something I haven't done a lot of because my YouTube channel and my job in Alice Springs has, has basically forced me into being a recluse of sorts, you know what I mean? So I don't talk to fuck all people in person, guys. And, um, you know, today I have. Today I've, I've ticked a few things off the list and I'm really happy. So tomorrow morning is the world famous Buddha run, big Buddha run. 
um, 4 k's up a hill. You can walk it, you can jog it, you can run it, you can do whatever you want. And that starts at 7.30 in the morning. So I'm going to go down there at 7. 50 baht for the taxi takes us to the bottom. And then everyone get, goes up the top. Um, I'm not sure if we get a taxi back down or not. But uh, regardless, that's going to be tough. It's going to be a great start to the morning. And that's at 7.30. So, wow. Holy shit. Guys, I want to say one thing. <laughs> I want to say one thing. I, oh my god. I was the most sweaty person in that class by about five or ten times. Honestly, when we were in a line, okay, we were doing push-ups at one point. <laughs> After we'd finished, I looked down. It was literally a pool of sweat underneath me. I've never sweated so much in my fucking life. And I looked along the line, and there might be a few drops here and there, but most of them had no sweat. I was like, what the fuck? Are you guys not working hard, or is it just me? Do I have a lot of water in my system that needs to f get flushed out right now? So, you know, we can only get better from here. It's day number one. I, 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 I said I had no expectations, but really, you know, being a sportsman, I kind of did. But like I said, I was absolutely humbled, um, worked my ass off. I did yoga first, did some weights, which I probably didn't need to do. And, um, and then we went into the Muay Thai session. So look, that's it, man. That's the update. Day number one. I'm pumped. I will say that next, next time I do a Muay Thai session, I'm not going to go as hard as I did at the start. When we're just doing technique stuff, when we're just doing a warm up, I'm not going to go as hard as I did because I know that it's a two hour session and the real you know, meat and potatoes of the session is probably in the last hour of it. So I'm going to work my way, you know, work my way up, get a sweat up, probably not as, hopefully not as much as last time. Imagine if by the end of this, I went through a session and I was hardly sweating. Now that would be a transformation for the ages, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Anyways, guys, my room is messy as fuck. My bag has got shit all through it. I'm going to organize everything and then I'm going to go and get something to eat because I'm absolutely starving. So guys, thanks for being here. We can actually take footage down there. I think they were starting to tell people, no, you can't take footage because tourists were just coming in. They weren't even training there. And they were, you know, coming in with their cameras and, and just standing there, you know, taking videos of people. I thought it was because they didn't want footage of people sparring to get out. But I think it's because tourists came in, they weren't even training there, they didn't pay anything, and they were just, you know, taking videos of people. So, I feel like I probably can take the camera down, although, yeah, actually, you know what, I would have loved to have this in the corner, taping myself, doing pad work. That's definitely the most fun. So, after we did the... the, the the pair work, we went off, um, had a bag, um, I think they probably had about 15 different bags and about 15 different trainers. So of the 30 people, 15 people went to the bag first, probably did three or four rounds on the bag and then switched over and, and, and did some pad work with the trainer. So one thing that the trainer told me is relax, keep your feet, you know, probably shoulder width apart, not as wide as what I was probably doing. But hey, man, I'm trying to wreck my brain about what I learned. It's day number one. Man, this is it. I'm here in Thailand. What I will say is that hair is completely and utterly overrated in martial arts. There's no place for it. So I'll tell you what, tomorrow we're going to get a buzz cut. A skin fade to a number two. And that's going to be a good feeling. Nice and clean. <sighs> Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll pussy out. Who knows? But anyways, guys, that's that. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.